Bojo, Bidwa a Gijigo Kwe Dishnakas, Megaze Do Dem. We are grateful to live and work and learn on this land and honor and acknowledge the traditional caretakers of this land. The Mississaugas of the Credit, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Anishinaabe, and the Huron Wendat. Chimigwech caretakers, Chimigwech Kakamekwe. Hello? Hi. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm good. I'm I'm just relaxing now. I I finally have some time to myself, which is really nice. It's kind of been just been going and going since you know, the beginning of um the fall, but now I'm finishing up school and gonna be a whole new whole new world um, I'm getting offers for jobs now I'm supposed to be starting a production rehearsals for a production um, next month so yeah I mean it's a little bit of a rocky start in the beginning of the year but it's going pretty pretty well um, yeah just excited for this new new transition in my life um, finally going to be done school. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Going to be an adult now. <laughs> we need to hang out. We need to catch up. Oh, I heard of this new restaurant uh, downtown. Does some nice Thai food. Do you want to go? Okay, yeah, sure. Um, I'm busy until then, but do you want to go on the 14th? Yeah, Saturday. No, March. Uh, um, 14th. Okay, cool. I'll text you uh, details later, but so excited to see you and to hang out. <laughs> okay. Okay. That sounds good. Bye. It's time. Sweaty palms. Bart Lane. Pressure's on. Nervous. It's bright. Point of no return. Glowing. Places you have been told not to go. Back in the homelands, there's an area that we're told not to go. Up a hill and into a valley a bit. In a certain corner of the lake, he'd seen some dancers getting pierced. They were sweating. 
They were red from the sun. Everyone was sweating. There is a center pole and there's ties. You dance and you whistle and you pull yourself back. The center pole is made up from a tree. And then the four grandmothers, they put the tree up. They tie the tobaccos onto the poles. And the piercings are the prayers directly from your body to the creator. That sounds exactly like the one I went to. It's powerful. But it's scary when you first see it. But once you understand why they do it, you get over that fear. Once you understand, physical pain is nothing compared to the pain inside. They were red from the sun. He told his grandmother he was scared. He told his grandmother he was scared of what he's seen. While they were walking, he saw a bunch of little lights flickering. That's the ancestors dancing. What to do if you are afraid? Physically slap your cheeks. If I'm home alone and hear a noise, confront it. If I just leave it, it's going to be in the back of my mind. Go and see what it is. When you go boating around the res, you see a little island. My aunt and uncle took her cousin there with his girlfriend and stayed in a tent. They stayed there overnight on a tiny island. They camp on the island. There was a ghost on the island. Ghost story. It was dark. There was a ghost on the island. Stomping around. Ghost story. They were in a tent. And they heard something. There was a ghost on the island. They heard people. Art. There was an auntie and an uncle. There was. Ghost story. What the hell? When it's dark, I used to think of cartoons. Good cartoons. Analyze the situation. If I'm scared of someone, I'll look around. If I hear something, I'll look around and see if there's something there. So DM was having a picnic with a friend she's meeting for the first time in a long time. It's in a park. It has a lake and some benches. So she goes to find a secluded private area to sit down with her friend. The human is hiding and disguised as a bush. This spire comes along. The spine human had to go out of their way to find them by the lake. So then squirrels, birds, bees, and butterflies start gathering around Diem and her friend to cover them from the spine person. Must see, toxic sign. Do not enter. Beware, haunted house. Must see, fairy fountain. Beware, of a farmer with a flatbed truck who picks people up. This bar was jumping. It was like the 80s or whatever. The guy drove up to the bar in a Camaro. It was those rock and roll days. He says, I know quite a bit of people. He starts naming all of these bands. I know them on a personal level. See, see look, I have my guitar here. He goes out and he grabs it. He brings it in and he starts shredding on the electric guitar. He shows everyone his skill and everyone gets hyped. They're all talking to him. He goes and he buys everyone shots. There's slots in there too. There's slots in the bar. He starts giving people rounds and giving people money to play slots. Who's this guy? From there... Everyone's drinking. Whatever. He pulls out a lot of cash, knows a lot of people. He's a big spender. But under his trench coat, he's got he's got a He has a trench coat. He has a long tail. There's a group of people. 
They're all family members, these natives. The guy with the trench coat, as he's going to the back seat of the car, they've seen the tail slither in. So there's this dragon, and it lives in a cave, and it's the size of the Rogers Center, and it likes watching hockey, and it has a TV, and it, and it has gold scattered all around because it only eats gold. It lives up in its in this high mountain. It's hidden away. Nobody knows about it. No humans can ever find their way up there. They don't even know this thing exists. It's this girl, and it's her 18th birthday party. They're in a ballroom, and the only people there are the girl and the voice inside her head. Who is this character? This character gives all these temptations. There's Kate. There's food everywhere, and tries to force the girl to eat all the food. But she knows she can't be eating that food. Must see. Fallen angels. Beware. The duplicity homes for unwed mothers. Must see. South Bay. Beware of res dogs. I was the only one watching over the fire. A lot of the nights, he would have to turn people away. Go. Go home. Can't be uh, here right now. No. You need to leave. Go home. Out. Worse. No, get out of here. Get yeah. out of here. Go away. Go home. Go. Can't be here right now. You need to leave. A lot. Get out of here. Stop. Get out of here. Go home. There's about five in the morning. The last day. The last day of the fire. His auntie really loved to watch him dance. I was alone watching the fire. It was about five in the morning. His auntie. She pushed him. She loved to watch him dance. He was the only one who stayed with the fire every night. A lot of the nights he would have to turn people away. He watched the fire. June 2020. Right when I was about to cry, the fire went really big. The fire raised. It went huge. It opened my eyes to let me know that something happened. Way above the clouds. It's a cloudy day, but he's above the clouds. And he can see the sun. He's in a plane and he forgot his earbuds. So he listens to the sounds around him, conversations. There was a dog whining, mostly looking out the window. And then he fell asleep for five hours. But he has the secret ability. And the secret ability is to move through the walls, the plane and other things. So now he's floating around the earth and there's no problems. He has no problems. He's traveling. It's warm. It's a really nice world and there's no hate in it. And it was really windy. So it takes off and they want you to rush into it in case the wind goes away. My friend takes off and I go. It was really nice because at the time the sun was setting. So you had this view of the sunset. It was coming closer and closer. You're not even supposed to stare at them. They'll get picked up and dropped off in the mountains. You had this view of the area we were in. It was really nice and it had all these really nice buildings so you could see so far. I was told not to go on the rocks at night and not to whistle. Don't whistle at the northern lights. A must-see northern lights. Beware. Don't whistle on the rocks. Must-see Samson Bingo, where all winners lose $50. Beware. Centaurs. Only on the res. Around my res, there's a couple of spots. When we go boating, they say, that's piney stuff territory. Leave a little sewing kit for them. He looked at the security camera 
and saw a centaur on it. They didn't release it. Who the hell would send their kids to a school that has centaurs? Must see. Abandoned hospital. Haunted. Fest, fenced off. Huge fine. Beware. Ghosts. Ghost story. They were in the tent and they heard something. And it was stomping around. There was an uncle and auntie in the dark. And then there was an island. Was an auntie and an uncle? Ghost story. There was a ghost on the island. They never took us there. A lot of it is in our head. We survived every scary thing there is. I was accepted into the first junior ranger camp for women. We had a weekend and we had a car and we decided to go to a drive-in. Seven people squished inside a Volkswagen Beetle. 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 We all piled into a Volkswagen Beetle. There were seven of us. It was the time that we tried to see how many would fit into a vehicle. We were doing things now that are legal, that were illegal back then. We are all going to go see Black Christmas, okay? We are driving up. We see a big light in the sky. An orb way above the trees. Scaring each other silly. We are getting closer and closer to the light. Follow him. Confront it. Rationalize it. Thrill. It's bright. It's time. Sweaty palms. The heat. Nervous. The point of no return. An orb way above the trees. It was a huge Venus sign that all the paint had come off. It was at a gas station in the bush on the big pole. A big glowing sign way above the trees. We almost laughed ourselves silly. Hello? Hi. Um... I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm okay, I guess. I... I... I left the house for the first time. Um... Yesterday, had a... mild panic attack. Um... I started crying before I left the block. Because prior to that, I... I was in my house for like a solid 15, almost 16 days. Yeah, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's, I don't know, it was just, it was just a lot because of like everything that's happening and like, I don't know, like it just, it, 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 it feels so crazy and I, I I was wearing gloves I had my mask I even like was wearing a hoodie and I like tied it around my neck and just so I was completely covered and it was 
It was absolute craziness just to try and get into the grocery store. I, I was trying to be as quick as possible, but trying to be aware of people and no one was following these, these arrows or anything and it was just... I want to come home. I, I know I want to, but I can't risk that. I can't risk being on a plane and I don't want to... I don't want to get you or, or anyone else sick. I don't know. If, if there's a way we can... I'll let you know and I can figure it out, but I... No. <laughs> I could barely get off the block. I, I highly doubt I could be on a plane. I don't even know if planes are even flying out right now. Do you know? Hmm. Okay, well... I'll... I have to go, but um, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Love you. Yeah. <laughs>